when it comes to plap it's going to be a two step exam where you will be getting the license to work in the united kingdom and many other countries including the middle east dubai and all the middle east countries but this license is not valid for united states this is going to be a easy exam if you compare with mle there are only going to be two steps the first step there will be 180 questions 3 hours exam multiple choice question you have to score somewhere between 115 to 125 there is no as such uh, specific marks but this is what is average is you have to get more than 120 correct when it comes to step 2 you have to go to uk to give that exam it's going to be practical there will be 18 stations each station lasts for 8 minutes for that you can take a training of 2 months 3 months there are many programs are there in uk to train you for those uh, step 2 oskis but uh, if you see competitively it is a easier exam if you are in your final year and now you you feel that you are very late for ste uh, usmle steps because usmle steps it takes time right there are three steps that you ideally should be started from the third year or fourth year already you are graduated or about to graduate then i would suggest to go for plap or mrcp that is going to be a good choice because it is going to take less time and once you get the registered in general medical council uk then you can shift to australia also for the better job job opportunity and more financials are better in australia but if you get registered in plap and uh, in the gmc and then you go to australia you get more verification there is more chance of getting the jobs there thank you